Alright then gang, so in the last video we saw that when we sign up a new user, now what we're doing is signing them up with Firebase Auth, but we're also capturing this one line bio field right here, and we're creating a document for that user inside the user's collection over here, and that document ID is equal to their Firebase Auth ID, right? So the bio is right there in the document. So just to quickly run through again, we create the user, then at this point they're authenticated, we create that document for them inside the Firestore collection, the user's collection with that bio. And the ID from the auth and the ID of the document are gonna be equal, they are the same. So then, at the minute, the way this is set up with our Firebase rules means that anyone can come in and read someone else's data or even change someone else's data because in the rules over here, we're not restricting anything inside that user's collection. We're only restricting the guides collection right here. We're saying for everything else, allow read and write no matter what, there's no condition. So I wanna change this and I wanna change it so that first of all, anyone who is authenticated can create a new document inside that user's collection. And that has to be so because we create one right here. We sign them up and authenticate them. So at this point they are authenticated, but then we create a new document right here. Okay, so anyone authenticated needs to be able to do this. So that's the first rule. Anyone authenticated can create a new document. Now the second rule is I only want people when they're logged in to be able to read their own document. I don't want them to be able to read other people's documents, other people's bios, only their own. Okay, so let's do that. So first of all, let's do a comment. Let's delete this stuff right here and a little comment to say match logged in user doc in users collection. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is say match forward slash users because we're in the users collection, then forward slash user ID. Now, this thing in curly braces, this references the actual document ID, that long string of letters and numbers, the thing that is actually the same as their auth ID, right? So we're matching this document whenever a user requests one of the documents, and this is a variable that changes dependent on the document they're requesting, right? So we're matching that. And what we want to do, first of all, is allow create to anyone who is logged in. Now notice here, I've said create, but down here I've said write, there is a difference. Write implies that you can edit as well, whereas create means you can only create a new document. So we're allowing create if the request .auth .uid is not equal to null. So if someone is authenticated, if they've just signed up, we can create this record for them. Now then the second one is gonna to be to allow read and this is only going to be the case if the auth UID is actually equal to the ID of the document that we're requesting. So let's spell that correctly first of all. Allow read if request .auth .uid is equal to the user ID right here. So this and this are the same. Okay. So then now oh, we need to put our if right there. Now, these should be fine so that when we're authenticated, we can create a new record and we can only read our own as well. So let's publish that. And this is going to prevent someone from coming to the front end and trying to request any other person's data. It's going to lock that down. So then let's just make sure this still works. I'm going to sign up as Yoshi at the net ninja .k and the password test one, two, three, four, one line bio um, egg hunting green dino all right so sign up hopefully this still works cool in the account we still get this and if we go to the database we can still hopefully see a record for that user there we go cool so this is all working and now we've secured our user data